Nothing compares to the joy of coming home to a brand new puppy, right? Those loyal companions. But adding a furry family member can come with the risk of losing your money. And Rebecca Barr from the Better Business Bureau is with us this morning to explain. Good morning, Rebecca. Good morning. Okay, you say pet scams are targeting Idahoans? Absolutely. Unfortunately, pets were the number one thing purchased online last year that resulted in a scam. And we actually had nearly 1,000 reports to BBB scam trackers about these types of scams, with victims losing anywhere between $100 to $1,000. And we do, in fact, have, unfortunately, a local Treasure Valley woman who lost $500 last month when she thought she was buying a beagle puppy, and unfortunately, it turned out to be a scam. Oh, no. Okay, how do these pet scams work? Well, con artists will pop up websites and they'll throw up cute pictures of puppies in hopes of luring you in. These are often sponsored ad result links when you're searching for a puppy online. And they throw up those dog photos. People get hooked. Once they show a little bit of interest, they often ask for a deposit in, of hundreds of dollars. But the money ass don't stop there. They actually will then start asking for travel fees, insurance costs, special crate costs, things like that. And unfortunately, it's all a scam. Oh, and it just keeps adding up, adding up, adding up. Yes. Okay, what can someone do if they are looking to buy a new pet? What can they do to make sure they get the dog they want, but they aren't going to get scammed in the process? Right, so the first thing is shop locally. Try to not pay for a pet that you've never even seen. And then, of course, check out the Idaho Humane Society, West Valley Humane Society. There's um, lots of dogs there looking for their forever homes. But if you do need to look for a breeder outside of our area, do your due diligence, do your research. You can run a Google image search to make sure those puppy photos aren't shop showing up on other websites. You also want to look out the AKC um, website, verify that information they're saying, and then FaceTime that puppy to make sure it does exist. Good idea. You want to see it in person, but if it's so far away, FaceTime, great idea. Yes. Thanks, Rebecca, so much. And remember, you can always vid visit BBB.org for much more information. And again, we always recommend everyone check the Humane Society and the shelters first. Yes. Please do. Thanks, Rebecca.